What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at my 335 at Warlock character, all the stuff I have on him, so the exotics, favorite weapons and general items. So I already did a video on my 335 Hunter who is my main character in Destiny, if you missed that video it will be linked in the description, but this video is all about my Warlock because I use each of my characters for different activities and different playstyles and they tend to have items unique to that character that the other ones won't have. So this video is all about those things and we won't be covering the stuff I've already looked at with my Hunter. So here is my 335 at Warlock, you can see the Grimmar has actually gone up by 15 since my last Hunter video, I got 15 Grimmar for killing the Prison of Elders boss. In case you're wondering, the max score you can get is right now 5020, so I'm 5 off the max score and the one thing that I'm missing is the rank 3 wins for the doubles game mode. So once Crimson doubles come back or any doubles mode, I'll be able to finish that off and get 50 more wins and get the max Grimmar in the game. In terms of subclasses, the Void Walker is definitely my most favourite at the moment. It's just so much fun to use in both PvP and PvE, and mainly with Scatter Grenades and the Nothing Manacles. Void Walker is definitely a favourite. It was my favourite before the April update, but now it's just even better. So, really good subclass right there. The Sun Sing is my without start go to for PvP. Fire Volts are just way too good, and the Stormcaller is really fun for PvE. Now into the weapons, the Hawksaw is currently my favourite weapon to use in both PvP and PvE. It's just a really consistent weapon and really enjoyable. The Talarlock, this is one of my favourite weapons in general for the Warlock. Really, really fun to use. And this, of course, is combined with the Sun Sing. When you have your Supercharge, it's going to basically go into Beast Mode where you're going to have the Handling better, the Rate of Fire better, and the Stability. And it's just a really, really consistent weapon. It doesn't really work well if you're not using the Sun Sing with a full Super. The Talarlock has always been one of my favourite weapons, so really enjoyable. And another one of my favourite exotics to use, I feel is really overlooked, is the Bad Juju. I think this thing is actually incredible, and I myself even kind of forgot about this thing. I was sitting in my book for a very long time. But this thing is just so, so good, especially in PvE. PvP is kind of okay, but in PvE, you can just mow down the adds and never have to reload, and it'll charge your super really fast. So it's so much fun to use, and it definitely has bonus points for its looks as well, with that Vulture Skull on the front of it, and in-game that green essence that comes from it. It's a really awesome looking weapon, and I would highly recommend picking it up if you've maybe forgotten about it. And the last prime weapon to look at is the Badger CCL. This, as you guys know, I love Scout Rifle, so this thing is really, really awesome. It's got Outlaw, so you get a headshot, and then it's basically you're just going to reload super, super quick, and it's a really fun weapon to use in PvE mainly. Not a PvP weapon, but in PvE it's really enjoyable. So that's a very balanced, very even, and the scopes are nice as well. So I love the Badger CCL, and it's really consistent, in my opinion. And then moving into the secondary weapons, we've got the Invective. When I go into Crucible, I tend to rock with this when I'm mainly aggressive with my Void Walker. I never really play aggressively with my Hunter or Titan, but with my Warlock sometimes, the Void Walker and Blinking, I can tend to just play really aggressive with hand cannons and shotguns and try and play that. But mostly I'm a sniper. And speaking of snipers, we have this thing, the Longbow Synthesis. I already made a separate video about this, which I'll link in the description for you guys to watch. But I did finally get one. Not great perks, but you can find out more about that in the video. So Longbow Synthesis is pretty interesting. I've also got this Hitchhiker FR4 from a Dead Orbit package. This thing has incredible perks. It's pretty much a god roll fusion rifle. So I definitely need to rank this thing up and actually try it out. We've also got the Stone Will and finally the Irene RR4. One of my all time favorite sniper rifles. Love how it looks. Definitely not the best in terms of performance, but I've always thought it's a really nice sniper rifle. And then finally in the heavy, we've got a Harrowed Quillum's Terminus, definitely an all-time favourite weapon right there. Very popular, the Bane of the Taken, which is from the prison, and this is a slow fire rate, but high impact machine gun, which is pretty cool. The Sleeper Simulant, one of my all-time favourite weapons. I love how it looks, and probably one of my favourite looking weapons in the Taken King. It just looks awesome, it's a space laser, you can't go wrong with that. It doesn't perform too greatly, but it's an awesome looking weapon, so it'll always have a place in my heart in terms of awesome looking weapons. We've got the three exotic swords, which I love, and also a Yalahorn. No idea why this thing is here, I'm not even sure when I was last using it, but this is here for some reason. So there's that. And then into the ghost shells. In the last video, I talked about how I loved using one of each and actually managed to perfect my collection now. So I've got three for the Crucible and three for PvE. So I've got one for the Taken, the Fallen, and the Hive in case I want to get some glimmer out of them. And then in the Crucible, I can put on one which has got Intellect Strength intellect discipline and also strength discipline so every combination so i can min max those stats and i can use them in any activity and they're all 335 i'm not sure if there's any of these taken looking shells for the vex or the cabal i haven't seen one personally but let me know in the comment section if you guys have any ones that give you bonus glimmer or clean the vex or the cabal because i've only got one of these three and i would love one of each for every single race and try and get as much glimmer as possible now moving into the armor section we've got the helmet this is my go-to one the trials one i love the look of this thing We've also got this one from the Crucible. We've also got this one, the Barkan June from Sublime Engrams. This thing is quite rare. And you don't see it around too often, so I like to keep this thing around. And then we also have the throwback to the Crota's End Raid, the Death Singer's Gaze. This is probably my all-time favorite Warlock helmet. I just love the look of it. I used to always use the thing back in year one. I really wish there was a year two version, but I always keep this thing around because it's one of my favorite looking helmets. I've also got a mask of Oryx for some reason. No idea why, but for whatever reason, if I want to look like Oryx, I can do. So there's that. And then also finally, the Skull of Diham Kara, which is a pretty good helmet for the Voidwalker. Into the Gauntlets, the main ones I use are Reload for Scout Rifles, which are pretty cool. These are Iron Banner ones. Also got some for the Sniper, which I'll probably infuse up shortly. The Impossible Machines for the Stormcaller, these random ones from Trials. And finally, the Nothing Manacles, which are incredible with the Void Walker, as you guys probably know. 
The Void Fang Vestments is my go-to chest piece. I love having grenade energy when you spawn. It's super, super powerful in PvP. Got some random chest pieces from Charles and also Starfire Protocol and the Iron Banner Vestments, which is what I use when I'm using a different exotic somewhere else. And finally, this Desolate chest piece, which is the Taken gear. I seem to finish the collection on a my character. I don't have any full set, but this is pretty cool looking. I definitely want to complete the set. And then into the boots, we've got these boots that are really, really cool. They come with rocket ammo, which is most important to me. Into the bonds, the one I'm rocking right now you get from the speaker. And it's kind of rare when he actually sells this thing, but I love the look of it. It's very white and very simple, so I like this thing. I got some from Iron Banner. I got one from the Sublime Engram with the Bark and June set. And also this other one from the Sterling Treasure Package and the 335 Artifact, of course, to finish off the full set and make my character 335. Moving down into these other options, we've got the Time Breaker. This is the Sparrow I tend to use most of the time. The Happy Horn, don't know why that's there. We've got the Birth of History. This is my go-to ship for the Warlock. It was really, really rare back in the day, and I think it still is quite rare. But this thing is one of my favorites. It's a Space Boss. They actually fixed the middle bit in there, but this is a really classic ship. I've got this one right here, which is actually only rare, but I thought it looks really cool, and I've kept this thing around since year one. It's called the Fangs of Nyx. I love the bronze look to it. It's very unique, so that is one I've kept around for quite a while now. And also got another blue one, which is the Outrageous Fortune. This thing looks like a toy. It's really cool looking, so I've always kept this thing around as well. And I like to collect ships that look a bit unique and different to the traditional ones, so that's why I've kept those ones around. Now, into the shaders, I've got some pretty interesting ones. This one is from Spar Racing. This is probably my favorite one. It looks really weird on a lot of pieces. Mainly it's black and white, and also a purple tint to it. We've also got the Blacksmith Shader, which is pretty cool on most of the Warlock armor. We've got this one, which I won't even pronounce, but it looks pretty cool, and I got it from the Crucible. We've got some Dead Orbit ones, and also the Queen's Web, which is one of my all-time favorites. This one looks really awesome as well. Into the Emblems, we've got the Sign of Opposing Will, which I explained how I got this thing in the Hunter video, but this is from a Bungie Bounty. And also some of these emblems are some of my favorite in Destiny, the very simple design. This is the original one for the Warlock, and you also get this one from completing the quest for the Void Walker. So really awesome items right here, and that has been a look at my Warlock and some of the stuff he's collected, which is different to my Hunter, and I'll do a video on my Titan soon. Look out for that one. Leave a comment down below. What level are you right now in Destiny? Have you hit 335 yet? Are you still trying to make it there? I'll be interested to see how many of you guys are actually 335. So be sure to comment down below what level are you right now in Destiny. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video anyway. Drop a like rating as always if you did. Massively appreciate all of your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.